Do you have just a minute? Oh, God. We need to talk. It's hard to talk about it with Garai right here. Let's go outside. Go on ahead. I'll be right out. <sighs> she wants to talk. I'm sorry for asking you to come out of your way. It's just that it's hard to talk about things with Mother Gorai around. <laughs> we used to be able to talk about everything. It's strange, isn't it? Sure. Um. Yeah, you can skip all this, but... Are you interested in anything, anything she has to say? Ask about your father. Your father, he's supposed to be a great man, right? I heard the story of the day he said goodbye to your mother. I heard that he was a kind man who always protected her. But how could such a man leave her? Do you call that kindness? The cursed brandings are a painful experience for a woman. But that's why I need you here with me. To your mom, your father's departure might have been an act of sympathy, but I don't agree. I would have felt betrayed. We're both in this together, so please stay here as the cocoon master of Cyrus. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> don't you think so? I agree. Me? Well, you know I really like you a lot. She really likes us viewers. It's just that... A lot. Uh, there's so much going on right now, you know? Why do we have to have so many rules and traditions? There's just no escape. I know some people hate the Nagi, but I'm an individual. I won't run away from them or anything just because it's hard. Oh, good for you. I might you. have married you because I had to, but I would never, ever leave you. All we ever talk about now are the village and cocoons, minions. I know now's not the time to be worrying about these kind of things, but it's just that... I never get to see you anymore. If only things were different. <laughs> Remember, viewers, spend time with your lady friends. Otherwise, they'll get all bitchy. Right? I can't test to that. <laughs> I got bitched at because we were up so late the other night playing <laughs> Seven Days to Die. Yeah, I got in a bit of trouble as well. And then I was like, well, we were playing this game. This is how it's like. And she was like, what? I wanted to see that. How could you play that without me? <laughs> uh, well, uh, yeah, I mean, I was like, we were just like, you know, it was so close to the end. Like, I just, we kind of wanted to finish it. Yeah. Which we did. And we're awesome. See, I don't suck. I did better than anybody else. Only because you got a gun. I did the most for our actual, like, uh... Survival? Our setup. Yeah, that's your job, though. <laughs> Your base camp, like it's, it's I was an incredible support. That's kind of what you do. Yep. Should we ask about moms? Or are we done? Might as well. All right. Your mother comes by a lot while you're gone. Does she now? She's really kind to me, and she might just be worried about me. But I'm sorry, I just can't stand it at all. Oh, she doesn't like moms. Mother Garai no. may understand how she feels, but I sure don't. Purification is nothing but pain. Didn't your mother do it all because she loved your father? And then he just got up and left her because he couldn't stand to watch her suffer? How cruel! But why, even after all of that, does she still love him? Are all women like that? I don't know, I you're can't a woman. I this in front of Mother Garai, <laughs> but I really don't agree with that at all. Next, she's going to ask you about menopause. I'm sorry if this upsets you, <laughs> but I just couldn't live the way she does. 
No matter what happens, don't worry about me. Do your duty as our Do cocoon master. Do your duty master. as our cocoon master. That's Just not a euphemism. Just don't run off like your father. Ah, uh, I see what this whole talk was about. The birds and the bees? Uh, no, she's scared that we'll be having so much fun out in the forest. We'll just be like, deuces, bitch. <laughs> yeah, but, like, it's not like we're gonna ever have it, get any, like, fun time anyway. She has to stay pure for the village. See, I don't know if that's how it works, though. Well, it sounds like that's how it's supposed to work, and your mom broke the rules. Well, yeah, but I don't think he left her when she was pregnant. I think... Like, he had already had him, and then, like, shortly after that, he left. No, what I'm saying is that she wasn't supposed to be, like, get, she's not supposed to get pregnant. No, she's not. So I'm saying, so, you know, your, your girl's worried that you're going to have too much fun, but, like, you know, it's not like you're, you're ever going to have fun with her anyway. She has other holes. That's all I'm saying. And they have I'm silkworms. Sorry. No glove, I don't no love. I know what I'm trying to say. But I, I think you took this conversation to a bad place. Chest. Thank you. <laughs> it's what you intended it to oh, be. Oh, I almost forgot. No, nope, you Take this. you crossed the line. Need it. There's a line. You crossed it. I have no lines now. This, <clears throat> um, right? I don't know if you have to exhaust all the dialogue for her to give you this or not. But this little headband is awesome. <coughs> it looks like a necklace then, instead of a headband. Oh, well, whatever the hell it is. The other. This other? Yeah. Well, that's what it's labeled under. It's other. Bow, 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 bow. So, we've got some stuff to do before we end this video. Like, talk to this person. But foist! Foist. Our defense does go down. But... but it's made of white cocoon silk, blessed by prayer for safe travel. Protects against cold and battle. I don't know about the whole cold thing. But every time before your turn, your character's turn, in battle, it heals you. That's awesome. So it's like having regen on. So, yeah. And this is like the only time you can get it in the whole game. So, I like it. We're going to use it. Well, if you do have to exhaust all your conversation options, it's a good thing we did. Yeah. <coughs> I'm never sure if you're coughing or sneezing. Coughing. <laughs> I'm in allergy season. Ah. You want coffee? You want to do her voice? Oh, welcome! The Cocoon Master Silk is of such high quality! I really like it! And Mabu looks so womanly now! It must be those beautiful clothes! So what can I do for you? Yes, well we can ask about Mabu. Oh, she hasn't stopped by yet today! But she certainly looks so pretty nowadays, doesn't she? Did she change her makeup? Oops. <laughs> or perhaps it's because she has someone to love her. I envy you too. Really, I do. By the way, thanks for being nice to my son. You see, our family is around a lot. So it's hard for him to make friends. I hope you get along with him. He's not here now, but... Maybe he's seeing the old gravekeeper, or the minstrels at the square. So what can I do for you? Well, that's neat. Alright. Do, do. So yeah, she's very excited. She's very excited. The funny thing about that whole conversation was she's, oh, Mabu's looking great. She's doing her hair, is it her makeup? When in fact, she's getting brandings on her body, which are like, show up like scars or burnt flesh, or I don't know what they look like. That's supposedly their really hideous scars. So if you've noticed, she started putting on more clothes. 
How did I notice? But I'll take your word for it. Because in the beginning, she was wearing her little booty shorts. I thought just because now she's married, it's just uh, presentable. Now, before we went into the first forest, she was just wearing like shorts and a t-shirt. Now she's wearing like arm guards, a hat, a long skirt. Right, I thought it was just like more traditional garb now that she's coming to her role. No, she's she's covering up her scars. Do we find out more about that later? She'll put on more clothes. She never comes out and says it. She'll start. It's a neat little thing having the character put on more and more clothes as the game goes on. Yeah, well, that's why like uh, our character's mom is like head to toe in garb. Mhm. Mm and like you go talk to the other women at the silk mill, and they're like just wearing you know whatever. But it's just one of those things that you, like, you know, at first it's just like, okay, so, you know, your mom's really traditional or something. Yeah. Thunder Silk. Yes. Yeah, so that thing I used to revive is 1500. Wow. Yeah, that's kind of why I didn't want to use it, but oh well. Oh god. Leaving already? Oh, that's too bad. Oh, yes. Next time, please ask Mabu about the Nagi fabric. We'd like to go to the Nagi village and buy it ourselves. Mm. But you know the elders keep its location secrets. Come again. That's cool. Alrighty. Let's go. Get our weapon. I think we can get it now. Yo! Ha! Ah, he thinks I don't know anything? Grown-ups always know what kids are up to. Do they now? Thanks for helping me protect the fool. I can't believe Kelmar has such a good friend. I'm pretty awesome. This is a token of my thanks. Take it. And modest too. Life stealer, as its name implies, it drains. Sounds useful. It's really slow and clunky. Big old sword. We can show it off in power and battle once before we get rid of it, though. Um. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Can I buy, like, decent armor? No. I think this one will actually change your color. Like, change the color of a shirt. Mm-hmm. But a four down to speed's kind of meh. You know? Mm -hmm. So, I think we're gonna save up just for the silver vest for now. Well, hmm. Yeah, I'd rather have the three extra speed than the three extra defense. Oh god. There we go. If you need a more powerful weapon, come back later. Maybe I'll have something ready by then. Oh god. You've come back, I see. No. Is everything all right at home? Everything's fine. Leave me alone, woman. I heard about those awful rumors going around at the silk mill. Uh-oh. They say Fio and Mabu aren't getting along. It's not true, is it? Don't you pay attention to what they say. Hey, shush, honey. You're being rude. <laughs> That's none of our business. I can't stand it when she spreads rumors like this. <coughs> Women. See, if you ever had a mustache. What are you talking about? <laughs> I have a mustache. It's because you men are so undependable. You're always driving us crazy. See? Every time you open Is it a full mouth, mustache? You have a beard, mouth. though, don't you? Yeah, I have a, I have a mustache and a beard. That's eh, not the same. Uh, what are you talking I was about? I only trying to help. 
Please take care of your mom and Mabu. As the audio like freaks out Don't on us. Don't go up to be an insensitive <laughs> fool like I this big guy. <laughs> yeah, it's like hardcore freak out. Anyway, like like that, like just a mustache. That's how I envision you having it. The <laughs> two, the two, the portrait, not the sprite. Mm -hmm. It's good. The weapon of the cocoon master ain't the sword. It's the power of your flute, right? That's what Raquette's always said. Whoops. Forgot to look at his weapons. Did he get any? Oh, he did. Got some new stuff. The iron sword, which is slow as hell. And we do not want. Really? And then the little bird, which is even faster than the sword of speed. And it's hmm, interesting. Anyway, it's like a tiny, tiny dagger. Mm -hmm. you need a more powerful weapon. Maybe I'll have yeah, some. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, there's some stuff we could buy. We'd have to go catch and spend crap. But there's all that, and <coughs> so it sounds like we actually want to catch a whole bunch of monsters just for the sake of spinning them and making money. Yeah, yeah. But we but... want to level them up before we spin them, right? Um. Does it make more the higher level? Yes, but the odds of us like actually ranking them up by like merging random things we catch is very very slim huh so, i mean if anything we just want to level up our guys like stuff anyway we can come talk to i don't know if you actually get anything from like being friends with cupid over here but we'll talk to him anyway Hey, it's the Cocoon Master. Didn't expect to see you here. I came here to escape the store and my mom for a bit. Did you come here to hear some folk tales? Or has the latest news been bothering you? I heard a little from Mabu. Seems she isn't getting along so well with your mom. I understand what that's all about. People's feelings can sometimes make things so difficult. So what do you think about Mabu? You feel sorry for her? Yeah, right. The only one she should depend on is herself. Pretending to feel other than how you really do is just trouble. The fact that you mean well make things even worse. Aren't relationships a pain? Is that all you say? Nope. Rumors are the same no matter where you go. Soon after being told they'd take on a life of their own. I mean, old man Poto's folktales are pretty far fetched, right? Kinda like that Pokemon with the stick. <laughs> it's a leak. But that's why they're so good. It's a stick. It's a leak. In the game, if you catch him, it says he's holding stick, not leak. Telling good stories is fine and all. <laughs> But I don't like it when people spread lies. Is that all you're gonna say? Uh, don't worry about Mabu. She'll be okay. She's tough. I mean, she's had to struggle every day of her life. So she depends on you, huh? Well, I wouldn't mind a girl feeling that way toward me. You know, it's so reassuring to have someone to talk to. Being a merchant, son, I'm moving around a lot. It's been so hard making friends. Maybe it's my personality. There's not much I can do about that. <laughs> well, at least you're honest. But, you know, I feel fine just the way I am. I think that's everything. So, what do you think about that? Blah, 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 blah. Yep. Dialogue exhausted. Like I said, I don't know if that actually does anything, but... Maybe we'll get a discount later? All right. Now, we did miss something in the forest. So, I'm gonna off screen getting to where we missed things, and we'll be back in a flash. <laughs> 